So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do chat triggers so that when a user says a particular key phrase or any parts of a key phrase of words in a certain order, it will fire off a command that you've made. And we're gonna use the Stream Elements chatbot for this. So you'll go into your Stream Elements um, dashboard, go down to bot and chat commands. Whenever you do this, it's gonna to come to the default section. What we wanna do is go to custom commands. So in this example, we're gonna do a response to a popular question. Let's say it's, why do you play this game? So one thing we're gonna to wanna to do if we're gonna create several of these, I would wanna come up with some kind of prefix idea to kind of keep it separated in your mind because this isn't necessarily a command we want or care for chat to be using. It's gonna be something that we're just gonna see on the back end most of the time. You won't even see it typed into chat. So um, I'm gonna go with auto is what I typically use. So let's say auto Y. It doesn't matter what you name this in the grand scheme of things, but you may wanna come up with something to keep it kind of separated. User level, if you wanna get real picky with this, you could probably set it to moderator if you wanna lock it down even more because your uh, stream elements chatbot should be set as moderator in your chat. Then you wouldn't have to worry about that. So the response we wanna fire off, um, it's anything you want. Remember that it can also use this page of variables. You can actually click here to view the variables, but I don't wanna lose my work. So you can review any of these variables you can use in a response. So you can even customize it where it responds to the user that asked it. So let's say, because this game is fun and put that variable. After that, we can go to advanced settings. None of these user cooldown or global cooldowns should really matter because it's the bot and the bot is moderator. It's literally the only thing that's gonna be using this. The only field we're worried about in this advanced settings is the command keywords field. Now, even though this says command keywords, it does work with key phrases, which means more than one word. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to think of how people typically word themselves and the more of those you can catch, the more opportunity your bot is gonna to have to auto respond to those. So let's say, if I typed out, why do you play this game? I can type out that entire phrase here, but that's gonna depend on someone typing out that same exact phrase spelled perfectly in your chat before the bot recognizes it and responds. So it helps to keep it really generic. So let's say, play this game. We'll dumb it down a little bit. You just type whatever and you'll press enter after each one that you add. Um, any other, so we could dumb this down even more and just say game but you don't wanna do that because then anytime anyone mentions game in any kind of conversation, and this may not be the best example, but it gives you an idea to use your imagination. But anytime someone used that one word, it would fire off, this bot would catch it and respond. So you don't wanna be that generic with it, but you don't wanna to be too specific either. So depending on your use case, you're just gonna to wanna to have to kinda of eyeball it and go in here and adjust. Now, please note you are limited to 10 command keywords that you can use per command. Now, if it's a situation where you need the same response for more than one key phrase, you can just create yet another custom command and do 10 more that way with the same response. You would just have to name the command something slightly different. But again, nobody's gonna see that anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So for this example, we're just gonna set that one. So we've done that, we've set our response. We're gonna go ahead and activate. So here we go, it should respond because this game is fun whenever someone mentions anything about play this game in a phrase. So let me go ahead, go to my chat. There's another cool thing about um, stream elements. Hey, we're hosting rigs, check this out. <laughs> so another cool thing about stream elements is it's a hosted bot so we can use this offline to test things out in our own chat without having to go online to check all this so I can fire this off say why do you play this 
game they don't even have to put a question mark boom yeah so why play this game now what happened here is I already have another command that I just thought about that actually picks up on that so as you know I'm an anthem streamer at the um, current making of this video anthems not a very popular game although it is building steam so one thing we get a lot of not so much lately but have like dead game is dead anything like that so there's auto response already set up for that no crank cube this game is very much alive and well so you can do cool little things like that um again the more generic you are with it the the more opportunities it'll have to automatically respond um you can do some cooler things to give you an idea of your imagination so each one of your emotes here you know if it's typed out like this is the cray 66 lego i can type that out you can also add that any of your emotes you can make an emote a trigger as well so you'll just take whatever the text value is for that emote and you will go back here and add it into the command keywords as well so there's a lot of cool things to do with this the sky is the limit if you guys have any questions just let me know i hope i covered and at least got you a good starting place for this another cool thing about this a cloud managed bot like this if you're a console streamer such as ps4 xbox anything like that you can use a stream elements bot and you can do the same cool stuff like this i think it'd be really really handy and i'm really curious and really excited to find out what everybody else has for ideas that they can do with this all right thanks